Hello everyone. So today's video, we're going back to the classics. It's a sketchbook session video. I really missed working in my sketchbook for the past like three weeks because I've been so focused on like the other videos that I've been making, which is like finished artworks uh, outside of my sketchbook, which is good. Like I like having the variety and because of the variety, I really missed this series. So we're going back into the sketchbook session with tons of energy. For this sketchbook session video, we have a special collaboration going on with Ohuhu. So Ohuhu is actually sponsoring this video, uh, which is crazy. I never imagined that in my life happening. All right, so I wanna take a moment to say like a huge thank you to Ohuhu for sponsoring this video. I've used Ohuhu markers for years. Uh, I never bought Copic markers, so Uhuhu's have been like the one alcohol markers that I've been using since I was like 18, 17-ish years old. <laughs> Anyways, it's an honor to be sponsored by them and uh, I'm so happy about it, but also I just want to point out that my opinions are mine and mine alone. So uh, I'll be very honest in this video. If I feel like there's something missing in this set, I'll point it out. And uh, yeah, thanks again, Ohuhu. I really enjoyed making this video and uh, using the markers. Here's the set that Ohuhu sent me. I asked them to send me the largest brush tip set. It's kind of kind of like crazy of me, not gonna lie. Now for the, for the amount of markers that this comes with, the set is actually pretty reasonably priced. Like I was surprised when I saw the price for it. I forget the price, all I know is that it was reasonable. <laughs> so I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, let me just open this up. The set originally came, uh, like the colors jumbled up together. Uh, I didn't film the unboxing just because I felt like, I don't know, I do a lot of unboxings on my channel. It must get tiring. Okay, so here's the set all opened up. It also comes with this thing to put at the back of your paper, which I'll probably be using for my sketchbook since it's like around the right size. And it comes with some swatch sheets that I did not use. Oh, and this little like booklet. I finally found the word for these sort of things. It's booklet. I've been calling it like brochure and manual and stuff like that, but yeah. I watched a video and they called it a booklet and now we're saved. Like I won't ever pause or hesitate <laughs> when seeing one of these again. Okay, so I think the plan for this video <laughs> currently is to do the swatch sheet and then I'm going to be doing a bunch of pages in my sketchbook. Uh, probably, so like, I'm thinking one, two, three, four. Hello everyone. So it's, it's voiceover time. So this footage here is showing me filling the swatch cards and it's extremely sped up as you could see because it took centuries. Like this was so long and tiring to do, but it was 100% necessary because the caps do not match the ink color inside the pens 80% of the time. So I highly recommend swatching. Also, the color selection was pretty good, but there's still room for improvement in my opinion. The main thing that I feel like this set was lacking was super vibrant yellows but I'll just go more into depth about the color selection as a whole and you know my experience using it during the main process of this video. So like when I actually start coloring with them. All right, so now that I have all the colors swatched, I think it's a good time to start the sketchbook session portion of this video. So I have my four and a half sketchbook over here. Um, I did not make a lot of progress since the last video. One second, let me see if I could show an example. Yeah, this was the last video here and I only did like this much. It's, it's really sad. Um, but yeah, my sketchbook has been severely neglected and that is because of all the long videos I've been doing and also because of school. I'm actually currently in my last semester of university. So it's really hard to balance all three things that I love. Actually, I don't love university. Well, I kind of do. I mean, I really want to finish my degree, but whatever, I'm rambling. So yeah, I'll just set up my desk in a way that works for this. I think putting the markers here is great. Uh, I really love the fact that it can be vertical, by the way. That's just so convenient. Okay, I think we're ready to get rolling with this video. The next day. All right, we're finally sketching. So for this video, I used several color race pencils to do all the sketching because the markers blend into it really well. 
Now, as you could see, I lost footage for the fish sketch, which was really sad. And then I made this really ugly sketch of this thing. Anyways, uh, I used these papers to cover it up, which was honestly a blessing because we're using markers, right? So the fact that this page was covered up meant that the, the next page could just be used normally. Um, but yeah, I always love an opportunity to scrapbook, by the way. Anyways, on screen here, sorry, this is a little bit unorganized, my voiceover, I mean. But on screen here, I'm drawing Miles Morales on this scrap piece of paper, but I put it to the side because, I don't know, it didn't really fit the vibe of the, the brown vintage looking scrap page. So instead, I drew this girl that I saw on Pinterest. She looked gorgeous with like this turtleneck. And yeah, I used that instead for this page. But don't worry, Miles definitely has a place in this video. <laughs> Anyways, I just really wanted to do like random photos off Pinterest. So the next page, like the upcoming page, yeah, I do some fan art. But for this first spread, I really wanted to just have fun drawing random things like I used to do in my Illo sketchbook. Because I really missed that. I haven't done it in a really long time. Anyways, um, so yeah, the girl goes on that page over there. <laughs> I used Mod Podge to stick it onto the page. And afterwards, I just continued sketching random things. Um, so the first thing, the first random thing after that was this like character with the paper bag. I used several reference photos for this one. Like I actually kind of just made it up myself to be honest. Um, but yeah, it all stemmed from this one person with a paper bag. And the last thing that I drew for this spread was a lady with a lampshade on her head, which is kind of weird, but I honestly love drawing weird things. Okay, so this is the first page, or sorry, the first sketchbook spread here. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna be adding like stars and maybe like some circle backgrounds and shapes and whatnot. <laughs> uh, I also might add like um, some of these like sticker thingies. I don't know what to call them. So yeah, you'll see later on, hopefully. But um, yeah, it just needs more texture and like little details floating around, but that's for later. I'm thinking of, instead of just jumping into the coloring for these two pages, I want to finish the entire sketch process for this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and sketch these two pages. I have no idea what I'm gonna put on them just yet. I'm thinking of doing a background on this page because I really want to use the hoo hoo markers for a background. I really enjoy doing that. Like, it's so fun using markers for backgrounds because it's so much quicker than watercolors, at least in my experience. And then on this page here, I'm thinking of drawing some more characters. Also, I have, I have this thing still of uh, Miles and I think I'm gonna stick it on this page or or this page is a flap, I don't know. All right, so here I start sketching the second spread and I changed to this purple colorized pencil just for some like variety. Anyways, the first thing I drew was Mel from Arcane. I love Mel, she's so cool and I love her character design a lot. I wanted to draw her for like ages now, but I kind of just fell out of my Arcane art phase <laughs> And yeah, I was happy to come back to it after a couple months. Anyways, besides Mel, uh, I drew this really random <laughs> girl with this outfit. I don't know, I hated this sketch so much. Uh, I'm sorry if you liked it. Don't, don't get attached, something, something bad happens to her. See, she was just crimping Mel's style. I wanted Mel to shine and be like the center of attention. And here there was this random Pinterest inspired girl just taking up space, you know? This was Mel's moment to shine. Anyways, here on the next page, I drew that background that I really wanted to draw. Uh, this was another like uh, Spider-Verse fan art of Miles Morales. Uh, I don't like how this turned out 100%. So like later on, I'll explain it a little better, but basically his proportions are off and it's really sad, I couldn't fix it. But as you can see here, his torso and head are way too big for his legs. So I'm gonna start the coloring process right now, but before we start, um, here's the colored pencils that I'm gonna be using. I really love colored pencils mixed with markers. I love how it looks and yeah, I'm probably gonna use these, but I might also use pens. I'm not sure yet, but if I do use pens, this is the brand that I'm using. It's called uh, Two Hands. 
and I also have this brand here uh, it's a kuritake pen it has a really cool tip as you can see there it's not like a normal tip um, and then I also have like the one that I usually use which is uh, the Tombow one <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this word and I'm a coward so yeah here's the tip for the Tombow one it's just like a thicker version of this one so here's where I begin the coloring process and right off the bat I just want to say the colors are amazing for the set. There's such a huge variety that you can mix almost any color except for colors that are lighter than the lightest colors obviously. Uh, now I did struggle with the yellows as I mentioned I think like twice in this video already but yeah the yellows did give me a really hard time. Also I did not like how the lampshade lady turned out which I will discuss a little bit later <laughs> um, but yeah overall I think the color selections pretty great uh, I was able to get almost all the shades that I needed so over here in this portrait that I'm coloring on screen <laughs> I went a little too dark than the reference photo but honestly it worked out nicely I really love like the skin tone how it turned out uh, I had to balance really carefully between pinks and yellows uh, in order to get the mid-tones that I needed. So the set isn't perfect. There isn't always the exact shade you need, but that's the thing with markers, alcohol markers specifically, you're supposed to blend them together in order to get the exact shade that you need. And I personally feel like there was enough colors to get uh, accurate, darker and lighter skin tones. Um, so yeah, it may have been a little bit of a challenge, but it's also a challenge with watercolors, you know? So <laughs> I feel like it's a pretty good set. Like at the moment, I don't think that I would buy the Ohuhu skin tone set with the colors that I have right now, because I feel like, I don't know, I could make dark skin tones, I can make light skin tones. Yes, it's a little tedious and like it's, it's a bit tricky. You have to balance uh, like really carefully between the red hues and the yellow hues. Uh, keep layering on top of each other, but that just makes the color richer anyways. Uh, like adding those like purple shadows and dark reds and stuff. It just makes the whole thing look so much cooler And you can even see the variation in tone if you look close enough So that's why I feel like this set is perfect in my opinion <laughs> except for the yellows which I keep mentioning but Honestly yellow is my favorite color. So I was a bit heartbroken <laughs> Okay, so this page is like pretty much done. I mean the spread I'm just adding some like little details to it so I'm not super happy with how the lamp head turned out, which is kind of disappointing. Like I was excited for this one, but I'll, I don't know, I'll redraw this concept in the future maybe. But yeah, I like how the dress looks. I just don't like this section here. I feel like it could have been executed a lot better. Anyways, I don't want to delete it entirely. So I'm covering it with this sticker thing. I was today years old when I figured out that these were actually stickers. Like, I actually used to put them with the plastic thing in my sketchbook. Um, Alright. Let's see how this looks. Huh. You know, it actually suits it. I'm just sad that it's covering up the fish. One second. Anyways, in case you were wondering, these stickers are from... Where'd it go? These stickers are from this thing I got from Stationery Pal. Um, if you see the Stationery Pal video I did, you'll find the link for it. Uh, but yeah, they're honestly a lifesaver. They add so much to sketchbook pages and like they're meant for scrapbooking. So in this part of the video, I was just adding some stamps to the page because I recently got these new like ink dye things. <laughs> uh, I don't know the correct term for it, but this red ink looks really cool. And uh, yeah, I was using this uh, butterfly stamp again from Stationery Pal. Stationery Pal is amazing, to be honest. Like they have almost everything. It's uh, it's great. Anyways, uh, some of the stamps didn't go that well, like this black butterfly over here. Um, but it's okay. There was also a lot of like tape on this page, so the ink did not work on top of the tape, which I feel like should have been common sense for me. <laughs> but uh it's okay it's okay i ended up fixing it all with some like scrap paper which will like show up later on 
but I also bought this alphabet stamp set from Amazon and it's honestly really fun to use. So here I'm just covering up all the ink mishaps uh, with scrap paper and just layering like, I don't know, random stuff. Uh, I love layering different papers on top of each other until it just like looks right and balanced, <laughs> whatever that means. Uh, and then I also added this really beautiful blue, like gray blue background to the fish, which I feel like was a really nice touch. Uh, I felt like that page was empty and missing something. So the background really helped. Uh, and yeah, here I'm just adding some like final touches with the white Posca marker highlight, uh, highlights, plural. <laughs> Also, there's this really fun thing I like to do with the highlighter because the white is so bright and it sometimes doesn't suit the color underneath it. Like it's just too dramatic. Uh, I sometimes use the white highlighter and then I layer on top of it with the alcohol markers. And so it basically just makes a really nice light shade that I need, which is, uh, it's great. I love it. But yeah, here we're moving on to the next spread, the final spread for this video. So if you like the sketch of that random girl next to Mel, I would suggest you take, you know, like some final moments to appreciate her because she won't be there for long. <laughs> Anyways, here I am doing Mel's uh, skin tone, which is honestly really fun. I need to practice skin tones a lot more often because I feel like I'm not really good at the highlight color, like the highlight tones for darker skin tones because it's not all one shade. It's actually like there are some very light, shiny parts on skin. All skin tones have like shiny parts. But yeah, I feel like I made the shiny parts here a little bit too dark, but I still kind of like how it turned out. Anyways, the hair for Mel was super fun. And uh, so were the little shiny things on her face. Like I just love her design so much. There's so much gold. There's so much like amazing colors together and the purple. I'm just over here fangirling about Mel to distract you all from the murder that's happening on screen. <laughs> so yeah, Pinterest girl is officially dead. She's all covered up with those random scrap papers. And I've started on Miles, uh, coloring Miles. Anyways, I had high hopes that the colors would kind of fix the proportions. I don't know how that logic works. Uh, it was just wishful thinking. <laughs> Uh, the colors did not help the proportions. In fact, dare I say, they made them more like pronounced. You could clearly see, like I'm not just being hypercritical. You can clearly see that like the upper half of his body is just way too big. Like his legs are so tiny. <laughs> it's okay though. I tried to change his pose to make him crouching earlier on in the sketching phase, but it didn't work. Anyways, I'm really glad I sketched that original Miles because he looks really nice. I love how it turned out. And I use him later on to actually cover, like kind of cover, fake cover the bottom portion of this painting. Well, sorry, not painting, <laughs> illustration, I guess. Uh, but other than the proportions, I actually really love how this background turned out. Like, uh, I don't wanna seem over critical and negative. <laughs> I was just giving myself constructive criticism about the proportions. So here you can see that I actually lost a bunch of footage. Surprise, surprise. I am so sad. Like, I don't think any footage has made me sadder than the footage that I lost just now. <laughs> because like, it was so fun doing the graffiti, the, the orange clouds, the green, like, oh my God, it was so nice. And even like all the details are lost, like the, the spray can bottles, but it's okay. At least you guys get to see me like color in the Spider-Mans, I guess, but it's so frustrating. <laughs> I need to like empty my phone and just use OneDrive. So yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. It's a work in progress. Anyways, I really enjoyed drawing the graffiti. It was my favorite part of this specific page. Uh, definitely not more fun than drawing Mel. Mel takes the cake for fun in this video. <laughs> um, but yeah, this, this is like a kind of second, I guess. It was a little bit stressful because with markers, for me personally, it's really hard to balance the colors and make it look like one environment, if that makes sense. So I tried adding shadows with like some dark purples and uh, reddish hues, but it only kind of helped. It didn't fix it entirely in my opinion, but I'm still happy with how it turned out. Like I like this background, it's, it's cute, it's fun. And I love the black spray paint being sprayed 
by miles. Like, and also the hand, the hand holding the spray can. I love that part. But as you can see on screen, I'm using colored pencils to define a lot of the stuff. I love colored pencils with markers. Like it really saved this illustration, I feel. Anyways, that's it for the coloring process for this video. As you could see, I stuck Miles over there on the bottom and I think it looks really cool. Like he pops out of the page, almost like a comic book spread. All right, so that's it for today's video. Uh, I'm actually really happy with how these two spreads turned out, especially this one. I just love the color scheme and the textures from the papers and tapes and stickers and stuff. Um, I also love like the variety of objects, uh, like things basically. It's so random and I just really like doing those kind of like random spreads that don't quite match but kind of do match, <laughs> if that makes sense. Anyways, uh, I'm also pretty happy with this page. I just love the color scheme overall. Even though this one here didn't turn out like exactly how I wanted it to, I just really wish the torso and head would just shrink a little bit. It would have been perfect, but it doesn't look too bad. Like it honestly doesn't look that off. Okay, now it looks off. <laughs> Let's keep it horizontally on the table. But yeah, I love the neon greens and stuff. I also like how like it's like incomplete, this sketch here. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with these pages. It was so much fun, especially drawing Mel. I think Mel is my favorite sketch out of all of them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And I'd like to just say like a huge thank you to Uhuhu for sending this like incredible set. There's just so many colors and I was able to get like the exact tones I wanted for like almost all the objects, like not objects, but drawings. Like all the skin tones were so easy to like make up uh, by layering a couple of colors. Um, like, I was able to get some extremely neon vibrant greens and stuff. It was amazing. And I also just really love this blue shade, this blue gray, this one here in particular and the chrome orange. Just so many incredible colors. Like, yes, there were a little bit of gaps in the color selection. Like, personally, I could not find, um, like, a sunflower warm yellow. Like, this one that didn't turn greenish on the paper. But, I don't know. Overall, like, all the other color ranges, <laughs> I feel like they were perfect. And they worked amazing. So I completely forgot to mention here, but Ahuhu very kindly gave us a discount code. So if you guys want to get any set of Ahuhu markers, just use the code Ahuhu10 and you can get 10% off your order. I probably rambled about it in the voiceover, but just for like a little bit of like context, here's how the yellows look. Like it's not my imagination. They do look very desaturated, almost like browns and ochres. Uh, which is great if I'm doing brown and ochres and stuff like that, but there's no violently yellow yellow. So like with the oranges, we have chrome orange, which is like violently saturated, <laughs> super saturated. There's no questioning how saturated that is. In comparison, we have this like grayed out yellow almost. And like again with the greens, we have this very saturated green, yellow green. But yeah, it's just the yellows that aren't complete but I made up for it with my colored pencils. And yeah, that's honestly my only complaint about this set. Anyways, um, besides the yellows, <laughs> this was honestly such a blast. I had so much fun with the markers and I just really appreciate the support from both Ahuhu and all of you watching today. Thanks Ahuhu again for sponsoring this video. It was really kind of you guys to send over this and it means a lot to me. It was super fun. So yeah, uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was like fun to watch and stuff. If you want to check out Ahuhu and like, you know, all their products and stuff, I'll have the link for them in the description below. But yeah, that's, uh, that's it for today. <laughs> I think I said that before. I think I said that like three times, but it's all right. That's how we roll on this channel. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video, which will probably be out sooner than you'd expect. Bye.